welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the M53 M55, the tier 9 American SPG. This one's located on the north spawn of Ruburg Encounter, and it's under the command of Angelina 75 of Olymp, and it's her first submission for this weekend's lie in competition. Yes. Okay, well, Angelina appears to be headed for the northwest corner of the map. This map in particular is actually probably better played from the corners. There are some places you can go which are a little bit closer to the centre, but the thing is the corners give you better angles on the enemy. Now Angelina's taking it right into the corner, and looks like she's going to shoot down this street at any enemy tank that tries to take the cap area. Well, she's got a red line there because the buildings are actually in the way. But if we look over the street, we can see, yeah, there's a ho -re 3 over here. Tier 10 game with Tier 9 tanks. The ho -re 3 which is actually quite powerful. Tier 10 Jaeger, you might say. First shot, direct hit. So she's off and running. Well, we don't know how much damage she did with the ho -re. And the church is getting in the way, so we can't get a shot on the uh, tank that was actually behind that. In fact, oh, we've seen something we would like. Yes, as RT players, this tank destroyer is, well, a prize subject because, of course, he's only got 15 millimeters of armor on that turret. And if we can get a direct hit on him, it could be a full roll penetration, which is 900 alpha and 52 millimeters of pen. Unfortunately, the first shot at the Heshpon hit the building instead wasn't fully dialed in i think she fired a bit prematurely but the hash farm was moving backwards and forwards on the just on the edge of her ability to shoot that corner you can see a number of enemy tanks in fact one of them is moving away and the whizzy 111 1 gft is moving away because one of our teammates is actually making a run on him right now in fact it looks like our team has broken through in the field They've only got a leopard prototype over there with a sharp future of war. Trying to get into position to avoid counter battery again. As you've probably seen in some of Angelina's previous battles, she's actually moved position and fooled the enemy. And oh, look at this. She can get a shot on the Hesh Barn if it's fully dialed in. Let's see if she can do that. Okay, fully dialed in, rounds out, lands right next door to him. It didn't hit, but if it had hit, that would have been the end of that guy's game. Now, the penetration is 52 millimeters, Farmer, 10.5 meters burst radius, and 12 and a half to 28 seconds of stun. So it's quite a long stun period. She's gone back to that Wizzy 111 GFT who didn't move away very far, and the T62, ouch. That hurt. He got hit very, very hard indeed. But he's now finishing off the Wizzy. There you go. In fact, actually, it wasn't him who got the kill. The Sharp U24 got the kill. In fact, our team is now streaming towards their cap. Or rather, their spawn point, not their cap. Okay, the next target, because the FV4005 has gone down. Or has it? No, it's not gone down. He's still there, but he's not sitting on the corner. Now he's gone down. <laughs> I was jumping ahead there. I felt sure he'd already gone because I couldn't see him on the corner. We're now looking at the Manticore, who's hiding in there. I think actually he just can't go out to the field because our guys are just too close to him now. That Hori 3 is still there, but we haven't got many angles to shoot at here. Not a great position, but uh, you can get some shots on the enemy at least. Going after the Chief and Prototype. Rounds out. Well, it stunned him at the very least. And that Hoi 3 is sitting right in the corner. It'd be nice if we could get a shot on him. This battle's uh, going... Oh, there's the enemy RT. The FB3805. And now he's been detected. And he's lost a huge amount of hit points. He's actually running for cover. He's trying to get 
in next to that building or the, the rubble because he knows if he gets um, splashed, he will be out the game. And Angelina, well, she could get a shot in there, but she decides instead to go for the home retreat. And that's a smart move because, yes, yeah, she does get a definite 245 hit points out of that guy, or at least that's what she got, instead of just a couple of hit points for the FB3805, because that's all he had left. So she's actually maximizing her, her uh, credits by going after damage. Oh, temporarily lost sight of the enemy over there. I don't think that FB3805 has been killed yet. Okay, we're loaded, but the Chieftain's holding back. We have got a shot on the Hori 3. And yes, there's the tracer from the enemy RT. Oh, good shot. 394 off the Hori. I think he just got killed. Well, no, he's still there. He is still there. He's still in the game. But the FB3805, well, I don't think he's going to be in for much longer. Well, we're four up on the enemy. Angelina is trying to get a bit closer, but the problem here is these buildings get in the way. So getting closer sometimes doesn't actually help. But she's trying to get shots on the enemy. Trying to rack up the damage. Manticore, let's see if she can do something. Gets down to the corner, rounds out. Oh, she did get something. The Manticore took 90 hit points of damage. There's the other RT on our team, the 212A. He's also getting in part of that Manticore. The Howry just blew up and so did our Batch at 25 TAP. And now that's it, the game's over. Here's the end of battle stats, and that was the third class tanker for Angelina 75 in the M53 M55. She got a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits in that game. She got six, and a win eight in the game was 1,273. Now, I did a bit of checking, and yes, Angelina did actually submit a previous replay. That was Talon's last replay. He got a second class and a bruiser, which means he's still in the lead with that score. But Angelina did actually submit a replay, which was a late one last week. And that was uh, 2137. I'm not sure if that was, was that the Friday or was it the, the Saturday or the Sunday? I think it might have been the Sunday, in which case this might not count. But it's the same score anyway, just with a better win eight. And so it doesn't really count towards this week's results. But Angelina is... Um, not in the lead with this one, so she's going to have to play catch up against Talon. If we look at the team score, we can see that the highest damage in that game turned out to be the 60 TP on our team. Got a high caliber for 5,806 hit points. Second highest damage, the Sharp U204, managed 3,848. And the third highest damage was the Super Conqueror, who managed a Spartan medal and 2,833 hit points. Angelina got 1,473, and she was beaten by quite a large number of enemy tanks. So we won't uh, say which place that was, but it's fairly low. Uh, when it came to kills, though, we can see that the high score was the 60 TP again. Five kills to them. Three kills went to the Striv 1030, and two kills went to the Object 257 on our team. And on the enemy team, the Manticore managed two kills but he was the only one to do so. And in fact, only four players actually managed to get kills at all on the enemy team. Angelina, I'm afraid, didn't get any kills at all. And when it came to base XP, we can see the high scorer was yet again that 60 TP. It's got the top in all three columns. He got 1,272 base XP. 1,006 went to the Sharp U204. And 983 went to the Object 257, with Angelina getting 716. And in fact, actually, that was in 10th place on her team. So, yes, it wasn't a great battle, but it's not a great firing position, that one that she chose. But she was getting hits on the enemy. You just can't get enough hits on the enemy from that spot to actually make a Confederate medal or to get serious damage. I always recommend, if you're in the North Spawn, to actually try and get to the corner, the northeast corner of the map. You don't have to get the exact corner, but if you get to the northeast corner, you can land shells on quite a large number of enemy tanks 
if they're hanging around the center of the map and that can actually end up giving you a confederate or giving you serious damage on the enemy okay so that's that apart if we look at the detail we can see that angelina only fired nine rounds in the entire game because she got four direct hits on the enemy and nine splashes damage 1473 all of it at more than 300 meters damage five the enemy killed zero but she got 596 hit points of stun assist off nine stuns on a free to play account she actually made a profit but only 2033 credits because yes I'm afraid uh, the ammunition resupply cost her, but it, it's very cheap ammo it, all the same. She also made a profit on XP 1,432. So it's not a total loss. And she said this is her best game so far because she was actually having difficulty. The most of the team she was getting, she was getting these teams which are completely wiped out like the enemy was on this one, on this game. Um, so very difficult for her to actually earn anything out of the game because if you've got a load of players who just die off very easily then you end up with terrible results but on this game angelina was getting good results because she was getting hits on the target it's just it's a this what this particular map is not a great map for playing uh, any game really but she did have a good team and the battle did last uh, only six minutes so she wasn't able to pump out enough rounds to get that extra credits that she needed to get or at least enough stun assist to get a mastery so i hope you enjoyed this replay it means that talon is still in the lead and as this is the friday he's angelina's still got basically today and tomorrow to actually get the uh, results she needs other than that it's going to be talon again who gets to win oh dear <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoyed that if you did please give this video a like do subscribe to our channel Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.